What a crazy day in the stock market. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. The NASDAQ market sold off once again, and even after market hours, it continued to gap down. So uh, let me go ahead and just start sharing my screen so you can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. This is SQQQ. This is not for beginners. It's a triple leverage bear ETF. This is this ETF moves three times the amount that the NASDAQ market moves. So if the NASDAQ market drops, you know, 1%, the SQQQ goes up 3%. So it does the opposite of whatever the NASDAQ market does. Uh, I ended the day at $26,000, $538 in the green. Um, it's been insane. Um, you guys can see the amount of shares that I'm holding. Just like I announced yesterday, I will no longer be swing trading SQQQ. But if I see that the market is bearish, just like we did during today's live trading session, if I see that market direction is still bearish, if I see that the market is still selling off, you know, I will day trade the heck out of SQQQ, but I will take it day by day. And the reason I'm not deciding to hold this anymore is, well, Based off of its recent move, it's gapped up quite a bit. Now, can it continue to gap up? Of course, but it's gapped up enough that it has the potential to pull back, right? And instead of you know being greedy and trying to hold the position in fear of missing out on what it might gap up, I'm okay with missing out. I went back to one uh, one share. You know, I, I was trading it with over twelve thousand shares today. I'm excited to go long if the market ends up going that way, um, but it just didn't look like that today, right? I mean, we're ending the month, and you if you've watched my channel, you know what I'm talking about, where uh, there's specific headlines that really drives the market. Uh, when there's a headline of, you know, we're on track for the best week or the for the best month since the pandemic, the market will rally. There's no fundamental reason. There's just momentum, right? A lot of buying pressure. Uh, this month, it was the opposite. You know, we're on track for one of the worst, you know, pullbacks, right? Um, it's going to be ending in the red. And that's all you saw with all these different news articles. And again, it's just the momentum. It's a lot of selling pressure and stealing a lot of fear. And I love it because, yeah, I can make money on the day and I'm very grateful for it. I don't want to minimize it. I'm, I'm so extremely blessed that I'm able to trade in front of my Learn Plan Profit Group and, and walk away with $26,000 today. Um, but I know that most money... Uh, is made long term, right? And I want to buy the dip on quality companies. And I want to show you, I mean, I told you guys yesterday that I was going to start buying the dip on TQQQ, but I'm going to buy it very lightly. I mean, I trade with over $250,000 normally per position. I just, I want you to get a perspective of my position size. I decided to buy, you know, 100 shares, 115 shares. I just wanted to get some skin in the game, right? Um, as, uh, TQQQ, which is the bull ETF, is oversold. It's now trading at $27. Now it's exceeded my expectations. Now I can get it at a really good price point, but I know that the market can get worse before it gets better. So because of that, I'm taking it day by day. I'll buy a little bit more TQQQ tomorrow. I would hope that it's going to be a little bit better than what it was today. I think that there was just a lot of selling pressure because of those headlines of, you know, on track to end the month of August in the red. And there's a lot of fear because of the Federal Reserve, you know, for the idea of being able to raise interest rates more than expected and being able to tighten up the budget, which can lead us to a potential recession. So, um, I'm excited for my long-term plays. I'm preparing now. I'm a big believer that I don't want to prepare for my long-term positions, positions that I plan to buy and hold for months or years. I don't want to prepare for those when the market's recovering. That's if that's very like backwards. It's like trying to prepare to lock in profits when the stock is selling off. It's like, why not prepare in advance, right? That's the whole idea of not predicting the future, but preparing for it. So uh, that's what I've been doing. I mean, I have my specific stocks that I'm paying attention to. I don't want to overwhelm you with my opinion, uh, but I'm you know, looking at QQQ, which is the NASDAQ ETF. Uh, I'm looking at Tesla. I'm looking at Amazon and I'm looking at Apple. I like to keep my investments pretty simple. Uh, I'm not here. I don't invest in penny stocks. I don't trade lower cap stocks, nothing like that. I like to keep my trading simple. And for the meantime, as the market pulls on back, just like many other people that know how to make money during bear markets, I like to short and or trade inverse bear ETFs that go up when the market goes down. So this is a great way to be able to make money in the short term as the markets dip. But let's not forget that the big money is really made on market recoveries and markets always end up recovering. So I think that when the market is selling off, 
that's the best time to prepare. So I uh, just wanted to share with you why the market sold off today. There's no fundamental reason. There's nothing like that. It's just headlines. Just like, you know, I think it was last month. Uh, we were ending July to be one of like the best months, right, in uh, since November of 2021. I think literally that was the headline. Uh, the S&P is on track to, you know, have its best month since November of 2021. This month, it was different, right? This month was the opposite. You know, we were on track for uh, a really red um, end to August of 2022. So um, I'm excited to start the month of September with a clean slate. I only have one share of SQQQ and I'm pumped to see what the market does tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be bullish. I don't know if it's going to be bearish, but I'm prepared. You know, the only people that get upset or that get scared during market pullbacks are the people that simply did not prepare. But people like you and I that have money sitting on the sidelines, I don't care what side the market chooses tomorrow. I will focus on market direction if market direction is clear. And just like we've been doing every single morning, uh, my Learn Plan Profit team will get to see it first time um, in real time. And right when the market opens, we will be live. So uh, again, I trade live every single morning. You don't have to join, but if you're tired of missing out, if you don't understand why the market sentiment is what it is, we literally talk about this every single day. So uh, if you think that it would be a value for you to be able to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow and every single day that the market is open, that's what I do exclusively with my Learn Plan Profit Group. It's not for free, right? I have 2,000 free videos on YouTube. If you want to learn on your own, feel free to watch my YouTube videos. But if you want my time and you want me to answer your questions in real time and you want to see me buy, sell, share my thought process, my green days, my red days, all of it, right? Every single day. And you also get access to all of our previous live trading sessions. Learn a little bit more about our Learn Plan Profit Group and see if it's a good fit for you. We're running a big sale today. Um, so if you've been waiting for a sale, here it is. Second link down below. It's $100 off our Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library and it's active until the end of tonight. So if you've been waiting for a discount, um, I'd love to see you in tomorrow's live trading session. And again, that's that second link down below in the description. And I will see you tomorrow at Market Open. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I upload new videos every single day about the stock market. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.